What if SHTF? I think you know what I mean. I just don't want to say it. What if all the power went off? You were in a natural disaster or unnatural disaster. Are you ready to get on the air? Is that? Do you have a battery or do you have a solar panel? Do you have something to get on the air in the event of an emergency? Field day is the perfect time and perfect weather. I love June. I love. Let's do it. Hello, YouTubers and amateur radio enthusiasts, shortwave listeners, all of that. Okay. This is Rick, and I am the host of Radio Hobbyist, YouTube channel that you are looking at. And if you're interested in amateur radio, action band scanning, shortwave listening, tips and tricks, reviews, I kind of do it all. And if you're interested, there's a subscribe button right over here. Join if you like, and let's do it. So, ARR Field Day's coming up. Woohoo! On June 23rd and 24th, Amateur Radio will celebrate Field Day 2018. This is Ham Radio's open house, featuring demonstrations of the science, skills, and service that is Amateur Radio. Field Day is interesting. It's both uh, a contest, but it's also something else. It's, a, it's an opportunity for us to practice our... It's like an open house, right? Um, where we, when we try to display to the public what we can do in, in the case of an emergency. You know, if the power is out, hurricane, tornado, whatever. Disasters happen all the time. They're in the news every freaking week. And amateur radio is always, always involved. Always. You don't always hear about it on the news. Sometimes you hear about it on the news. But amateur radio, this is the time to shine, guys. So I'm taking um, this year as an opportunity to see what I, you know, how quickly could I get onto um, the airwaves in a meaningful and useful manner for disaster relief or what have you. So, you know, there's no repeaters. Uh, you're not gonna like pull up your bow thing and help community service. What we're talking about is having batteries or solar power, what have you and getting an HF rig on the air with a some kind of antenna that you might have to concoct out of wire or whatever. Get it on the air. And so this, come this field day, get it on the air. See what you can do. See if you can actually make contacts with what you would do in the event of some sort of emergency. Um, so my challenge this year is, well, I don't, you know, I've never really invested in batteries or solar power or any kind of emergency power. So, but I do have, you know, multiple rigs that, uh, and multiple portable antennas. I've got a buddy pole, I've got an alpha easy military antenna, and I know how to make a doublet, believe me. What would I do in the event of a civil emergency? Um, so think about it. Uh, what would I do for a battery? Well, my car is an immediate choice. It's got a nice, I don't know if there's still lead acid batteries in cars, are they? Probably. I just have a little Ford Fiesta. So it's probably a lead acid battery, but and a small one too. So, you know, I could, uh, you know, maybe put some clamps on that battery, get going on HF, make a nice, uh, you know, here's another thing. In what, what are you interested in for propagation in an emergency? You're probably not going for DX. You probably want a cloud warmer or what seriously is termed uh, uh, an NVIS antenna, N-V-I-S. What does that stand for? Near 
vertical incident propagation or, or something like that. Anyway, an antenna whose radiation pattern uh, on the horizon is near, it goes up at a high angle of radiation and not a low angle of radiation, which would do for DX. Why is that? Because you probably only want to talk to people that are hundreds of miles away to maybe a thousand miles away. So think, you know, like, uh, uh, like a 80 meters daytime dipole or doublet where you can talk for talk to the rest of the state or province. Uh, think uh, uh, digital too. Think digital. Um, BPSK or something like that. Not FT8. FT8, you can't dispatch messages on FT8. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of the things that are really useful in the event of a STHF situation. I'm sure that you can think of a lot more, so put them in the comments below. I, I would like to hear um, all the applications for what field day should be and can be about. So uh, I'm looking forward to it this year. I don't know if I'm gonna get out with um, uh, oh, Tracy, uh, VE3, uh, 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 it uh, escapes me right now. Tracy out in Burlington, anyway, we've done field day together before in a small scenario, and uh, he his YouTube channel is Outdoors on the Air. You want to search for that guy, because he is serious about doing ham radio outside, and he's he's done tons of experiments. Thumbs up, Tracy. Shout out. So again, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Let's do it.